The Bighorn Fire has been burning through the Catalina Mountains for nearly two weeks now. Many people are living on edge, but so far no structures have been damaged. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Overall. We begin tonight with team coverage of that fire. News 4 Tucson's Angelique Lazardi live tonight at Catalina State Park. Angelique, what are the conditions out there right now? You know, some pretty good news though, John, this evening. Um, right now, the temperatures have definitely decreased. It is much cooler out here, but you can still see a slight glow behind me up in the mountains in terms of what the mountains look like this evening. In terms of that though, in terms of data, Right now that fire is at 30 over 31,000 acres in terms of acres being burned and it at, is at 40% containment at this time. But it does look like it has been challenging with Mother Nature when it comes to winds for fire crews. And in terms of winds, they say it's been really pushing the smoke, those plumes of smoke in different directions. That's why it's been going from the east side of the mountain to the north side of the mountain. But luckily today there was sign type of reprieve for fire crews when it came to protecting the area. Now, in addition to that right now, we want to show you this map that we have been showing throughout the day in terms of the evacuation process. Right now, this is a map of the affected communities. Mount Bigelow and Lower Soldier, Soldier HOA, the community of Summerhaven, Willow Canyon and Pepper Sauce Canyon to High Jinx Road in Campo Bonito, that's an oracle, are all in the go stage. This means residents must evacuate. The community of Oracle and portions of East Golder Ranch and Catalina Foothills between Alvernon Way and Sabino Canyon Road north of Skyline Drive are in the set phase. This means residents need to be prepared in case an evacuation order is given. In addition to that, Oro Valley from Catalina State Park south to McGee Road and Tucson Foothills from First Avenue east to Alvernon Way are in the ready stage, which means that they should be prepared. Now back out here live, we do want to mention that CDO High School is open if people do need assistance in terms of amenities, whatnot, because of course this is a very challenging time and it can create a lot of emotion for residents who've had to be evacuated. But right now we're going to go back to the east side of the mountain with News 4 Tucson's Mark Mangura to get the latest information. Mark. That's right, Angelique. Firefighters say that they got a boost today from weather conditions being, quote, normal, meaning hot, warm temperatures, but low winds and overall uh, moderate conditions. And that allowed them to fly aircraft all day long, which helps them a lot in those areas where they can't get boots on the ground to fight the fire. Now, as you can see, the fire is still burning behind me. As the fire burns north, they have been back burning to prevent communities to the north from being impacted and will continue to do so where it's necessary. Now, as far as air quality is concerned, officials say that smoke will travel down the mountains towards nearby communities. They say if you smell smoke, then you are breathing smoke. So if you're vulnerable, be aware of that. Now, Pima County Sheriff's Department evacuated the rest of Mount Lemon, and they say residents were cooperative and were very helpful. And now there is no active fire in Summerhaven and still no structures that have been lost. Residents asked what prompts evacuation recommendations, and fire officials said, it's based on the fire's potential, not numbers or distance. Really, what it depends on is fuel, weather, and topography. Now, one more thing they wanted to note was that they have so far had four drone intrusions. And they say, please keep drones out of their airspace. Anytime one enters their airspace, that forces them to ground all of their aircraft. And they made a lot of progress today because they were able to fly all day long. And obviously, whenever they have to ground their aircraft, that hurts their chances at protecting these nearby communities. So if you want footage of the flames, we've got plenty of that on our website at KVOA.com. We've got you covered there. We're going to head back over to Angelique Lazardi for more on the Bighorn Fire. Angelique. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for that report on the east side of Mountain Lemon. Now, we do want to remind you once again that the, the evacuation notices are in place for Mount Lemon. Mount Bigelow, Lower Soldier HOA, the community of Summerhaven, and Pepper Sauce Canyon. Fire crews say these alerts are changing quickly, so it is important to sign up for alerts that will notify you if you need to evacuate. We have all that information, of course, on our website at kvoa.com for further information.